All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a simple notification. And also I'm gonna show you how to create a notification with large text or an image view inserted inside. And when you click on these notifications, they will open any activity of your choice via a pending intent. And uh, let me just show you a small demonstration and get started by clicking on this send notification. So the first example is gonna be a notification with an image, which is gonna look like this. You'll have a large icon to the right. And when you click on this uh, or drag it down, actually, you'll get this very nice large image right there. And it has an example title and an example description. And that is the first example. And when you click on it, of course, you need to unlock your phone. I use my fingerprint. And then there's the second example with the large text. So you do send notification and let's start our phone like this again. You'll get this example title with an example description. But if you extend it, it will say much longer text that cannot fit in one line. So we extended it to be much, much longer. And essentially that's what we will be doing in this tutorial. So uh, let's get started immediately by turning off, I, I guess Spotify was not supposed to be there, but uh, by turning off this uh, screen and getting started immediately in our activity main XML by going to our res file and clicking here and going to split screen we will change this text to send notification. We'll give it an ID of a button, button to keep things simple. We will change it to a button. We will give it a text color of Android white and we will give it a tint of, uh, let's decide by starting with this. So we can go to our trusty color picker and pick a very nice material design color such as this light blue, just so things look a little bit nicer. And then we can go straight to our main activity file. So the first thing we want to do is create a few channel IDs and a notification ID. And the first one's gonna be private val channel underscore ID, which is gonna be uh, of a string. And we're just gonna write channel underscore ID underscore example zero zero one. And under that we can do private val notification ID, which is gonna be 101, for example. And finally, we are gonna go down here and create a few functions. All right, so the first function we're gonna write is called private function create notification channel. And you may have heard of this already, but since uh, build.version Oreo or uh, API level 20, uh, 26, it is required to create a notification channel for your notifications to show up due to security reasons and uh, more user more user freedom, let's say. So we're just gonna start with this and it's gonna be the first method that we include in our onCreate. So create notification channel. And inside here we're gonna do if build.version and of course import the build SDK int is more or equal to build.versioncodes.o, then we will create this uh, notification channel. So we're gonna write val name is gonna be equal to notification title. And this is the title you will see if you go to your settings and you wanna turn on and turn off notifications. This is exactly what will pop up. And under that we'll do value description text for your notification title or for the notification itself. And it's gonna be called notification description, just for example. Then we'll do value importance. It's gonna take a notification manager and it's gonna give the importance of default. And you can choose actually anyone you want. If it's a non-important notification, you can put it to min or none. If you put it to high, it will be treated as a high. Uh, importance notification. The one thing you have to keep in mind is that even if you put it on high, the system will not always treat it as high because there are so many notifications to handle sometimes that the system will often decide for itself which one is more important. So we'll do importance default just to keep things simple. Then we will create the channel itself by doing value channel is going to equal notification channel and it's going to take our channel ID. It's going to take the name and it's gonna take the importance as parameters. And we are going to apply a description to it. It's going to be our description text. 
And then we can finally register the channel with the system, which is going to be a value of notification manager of type notification manager. And that's going to equal get system service with the context of notification service as a notification manager. And down there we can write notification manager dot create notification channel. And we will take our channel and insert it in there. And this will take care of all the work we need to make it to make sure that the notification actually pops up on versions of uh, Oreo and above. So now that we got that out of the way, we can also go to the old version, private function sent notification. And this is going to be basically a builder that creates the notification. So we're going to start with a value builder. And that's going to equal notification compat dot builder. And that's going to take two uh, parameters. One's going to be the context, which is going to be this. And then it's going to take a channel ID as well. And we can do the dot set small icon. And that's just going to be our, uh, let's just make it the base drawable, which is the IC launcher foreground. We need to go refer to r dot drawable dot IC launcher foreground. And right before I forget, actually, remember to have two icons. One's going to be essentially one for the uh, for the large icon and one's going to be for the big image view. So make sure you have those in mind already. So I'm, for example, I'm going to use a Steam icon for the large icon and that same Android uh, image as before for the big picture. But I'll show this later. You'll understand in a bit. So as I was saying before, we just uh, started with the builder. We set the small icon. And right after that, we are going to set the content title. So we'll go down here and we will write uh, example title. Under that, we can write set content text and that's going to take an example description. And uh, let's keep on going. What can we do next? Then we can do dot set priority and that's going to take the notification compact, this one here. And we're going to write priority default. And finally, and finally, we can write with notification manager compact dot from the context of this, we will write notify, it's going to take our notification ID. So make sure you have one that is specialized for this notification or specific for this notification. And it's going to call builder dot build. And of course, we want to create a button that uses this, uh, this notification. So we'll write button underscore button dot set on click listener. And all it's going to do is send the notification and the create notification channel will always be created at the beginning of the app or during any part of the app in the Android documentation, no matter how many times you create this, it doesn't really take any more resources because it checks if there's already a current notification channel, it will do nothing. But if there isn't, it will create one. So it's completely resource friendly. So don't worry any anything about uh, creating multiple notification channels. That is all fine. But for now we have the very basics down and if we run the app, we should get a very simple notification. So let's uh, start it. And let's tap on the notification. So as you can see, the notification has appeared, but uh, there are a few problems with it at the moment. One is that if you click on it, nothing happens. You only can swipe it. So uh, let's go ahead and fix that by adding the rest of the functionality to it. So it's actually gonna be uh, quite a bit of code. So let's get started by writing First, we need to create an intent and the intent is going to be used to open the activity from the notification channel and from the notification that appears on the menu. So we're going to write value intent and we're going to equal it to intent with the package context of this. Now first, we should import it and it's going to take our main activity class dot Java and we are going to apply to this uh, some flags. So we're going to write flags equal Intent dot flag activity new task. This one all the way down there. I'm a bit lazy to type it, but uh, you could have just done that. Or intent dot flag activity clear task. And right under there, we can write a value of pending intent. It's going to be val pending intent, and it's going to be of type pending intent, which is going to equal pending intent dot get activity. And inside here, we'll write this as the context. It will have a request code of zero. It will take our intent 
as the intent and finally it will have zero flags. And right under we have to actually create a bitmap converter because what we're going to do is take our uh, drawable file and convert it to a bitmap because if we want to put it in the notification it requires a bitmap and not a drawable. So let's go ahead and create that converter by writing val bitmap. That's going to be a bitmap factory which is going to decode the resource and it's going to take the application context resources and finally the drawable you want to uh, convert. So we'll do r.drawable. Uh, we'll start with, I believe I need to put the Android 2, which is going to be the large image. And right under there we'll create the same thing. So we'll just copy and paste that. And it's going to be bitmap uh, large icon. And all we have to do is change this to the large icon of your choice, which is the Steam logo. And uh, yeah, that's actually all you have to do above the builder. Now we can add a few more lines to the builder. So such as, uh, let's see, what can we start with? So such as adding a set large icon, which is we're going to take our bitmap large icon as the argument. And that's just going to set the large icon for the message. And of course, let's pretend we want to set a large image in it. We're going to write dot set style and it's going to take notification compact dot big picture style dot big picture. And inside here, you can insert your bitmap or whatever big image you have. And that will set a large image for it. And the final thing we have to do here actually is add the pending intent. So when you click on this icon, uh, when you click on this notification, it will actually uh, do something. So we're going to write right under it, we'll do set content intent. And we're going to add our pending intent in there. And that's all we need to do to create the uh, touchable image screen. And right after we compile this and see how it works, I'm going to show you how to do the large text. It's very similar to the image one. But uh, let's send that notification. Then we uh, open our app. You can see there's a Steam icon over there. And if you drag this down, you will have a very nice image view. And when you click on this, it will ask you for your password. And once you put that in, it will open the activity. And that is just amazing. But let's pretend you don't care about the big image. We can just add a large textile. So essentially, we're just going to uh, do this and we're going to write big textile and you're going to write dot big text instead of big picture. So big text. And inside here, I'm just going to copy and paste what I wrote earlier because it's a lot of text to write and I'm not very good at writing while I'm recording. And uh, that's all you have to do to make the large textile. So it's very simple. It's very easy. Let's send that notification once more. And you go to our uh, home page or whatever your phone has. And if we scroll down, you'll see the text is much longer. You can read, you can put some large text in there, whatever you like. And when you click on it, it will still have the pending intent. And it will open whatever activity you have or whatever pending activity, or pending intent you have described. And with that being said, that's all you need to do to create a simple notification. And if you want to do that in the background, that is a whole different video that I will try to come out with in a few weeks or maybe a week. I don't know yet. I still have a lot to study. And, and yeah, if you have any more requests regarding videos, please leave them in the comment section below. I can't promise I'll make them anytime soon because there's a lot that I'm studying at the moment. But I'll do my best to look into it. And hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to put a video out regarding it. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you around in my YouTube channel somewhere. And uh, yeah.